this time we will have the invocation uh, called Rabbi Justin David. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure and a privilege to be here as we give thanks to all of you who've done something that very few of us will ever do, which is submit to an election and then commit your life to public service. And so I've composed something that I hope uh, reflects the collective gratitude of, its all, of us all to look out for your health and welfare over this next term as you look out for ours. In your decisions, may you avoid the fear and the noise and the voices of influence and instead attend to those who cry silently in the shadows. We know that the sublime moments will be few, but we hope that you will find the significance and the details of every motion and resolution. Find your sources of wisdom because we need you to be wise. Find your sources of joy because we will need you to be renewed. We ask that you learn from this experience because we need you to learn about all of us, our, de our desires, our dreams, and our fears. And when we reach this time again two years from now, we won't expect miracles. But we ask that you have the goal of being able to say, I did one thing that made a difference. We're grateful for your service, and we wish you strength and insight along the journey ahead. Thank you, Rabbi, for those uh, important and wise words. Um, and uh, we will now move to the first uh, swearing in, which will be the swearing in of uh, our city clerk, Wendy Mazza. And she's done this a lot more than I have, so bear with me. <laughs> I. I. Wendy Mazza. Wendy Mazza. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will faithfully and impartially. Will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As city clerk of the city of Northampton. As city clerk of the city of Northampton. According to the best of my abilities and understanding. According to the best of my abilities and understanding. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution. And laws of the Commonwealth. And the laws of the Commonwealth. The Charter, Ordinances, and Rules of the City of Northampton. The Charter, Ordinances, and Rules of the City of Northampton. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, Clerk Mazza is going to proceed now with a series of swearing ins. Uh, beginning though first uh, with the swearing in of Mayor Narquist. Put down biology for a minute. <laughs> if you'd raise your right hand for me. And repeat after me. I, David J. Narkowitz. I, David J. Narkowitz. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And will support the Constitution thereof. And will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, David J. Narkowitz. I, David J. Narkowitz. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will faithfully and impartially that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me all the duties incumbent upon me as mayor as mayor of the city of Northampton of the city of Northampton according to the best of my abilities and understanding according to the best of my abilities and understanding agreeably to the rules and regulations of the constitution agreeably <laughs> to the rules and regulations of the constitution and the laws of the commonwealth and the laws of the commonwealth the charter ordinances the charter, ordinances, and rules of the city of Northampton. And rules of the city of Northampton. So help me God. So help me God. I, David J. Narkowitz. I, David J. Narkowitz. Do swear. Do swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mayor. Uh, we're going to continue on with the uh, balance of the um, 
swearing in, and Clerk Maz is going to perform those at this time. If I could have the counselors all stand, please. <laughs> I know, it's not going to That's okay. That's all right. If you raise your right hand for me. I state your names. I, William H. Dwight. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To faithfully and impartially. To faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office to which I've been elected. To the office to which I've been elected. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. In accordance to the Constitution of the Commonwealth. The Charter Ordinances and Rules of the City of Northampton. The Charter Ordinances and Rules of the City of Northampton. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, counselors. School committee members. Good. Raise your right hand. I state your names. I am Do, Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do faithfully and impartially. Do faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. To which I've been elected. To which I've been elected. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. The Charter Ordinances and Rules of the City of Northampton. The Charter Ordinances and Rules of the City of Northampton. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the, the best, best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations. If I can have the um, trustees of Forbes. No, no, Smith School. Excuse me, Smith School. <laughs> Raise your right hand. I state your names. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Solemnly swear and affirm. Do faithfully and impartially. Do faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. To which I've been elected. Which I've been elected. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. The Charter Ordinances and Rules of the City of Northampton. The Charter Ordinances and Rules of the City of Northampton. To the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> and last but not least, the trustees of Forbes, please. If you both raise your right hand, I state your names. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of the office to which I've been elected. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth, the Charter Ordinances and Rules of the City of Northampton, to the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations. And we have David. I'm afraid I'm last in the that you are, you are David. If you want to raise your right hand for me, I, David Murphy, I, David Murphy do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, to faithfully and impartially, to faithfully and impartially, discharge the duties of the office, discharge the duties of the office to which I've been elected, to which I've been elected, in accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth, in accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. The Charter Ordinances and Rules of the City of Northampton. The Charter Ordinances and Rules of the City of Northampton. And to the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations, David. Uh, David Narkowitz was elected the 44th Mayor of Northampton in November of 2011, and of course, re-elected this past fall. He has also served as Ward 4 City Councilor uh, city Councilor at Large, Council President, and the Acting Mayor. And he has earlier served on the staffs of four different members of Congress of the United States, including John Olver. He stands here today, tonight, poised to be the first person to serve a four-year term of office as our Mayor. And I know that Mayors Higgins and Ford are probably a little jealous about a four-year term. <laughs> they only got the two-year ones. Uh, 
But that's where he is right now on, on that, at that point. And I want to just take two seconds and address uh, to that point, if you'd indulge me. I just want to say personally that uh, our decision, this city's decision, to go to a four-year mayoral term was exactly the kind of forward-looking uh, achievement that really sets this city apart. Uh, it was a good government game changer, the kind of big thing we can get done around here, and uh, the, type of thing, the type of thing that other places, frankly, wouldn't even consider. Uh, Northampton understood that in these ever more challenging times, our top elected official should be less concerned with ice cream socials and lawn signs and media buys, and more concerned with addressing the complex issues that municipalities struggle with every day, all day. Uh, and the timing uh, has been perfect, because it turns out that the man you're about to hear from has proven to us over and over again that he's not just willing, but he's eager to wade in on the many complex and controversial questions that confront us today. And what we've seen in that process is that in his methodical, inclusive, thoughtful, and quietly courageous way, he has actually done precisely that which he, would, he said he would do when he first ran. He has moved a great city forward. So without further ado, I give you Mayor David Narcourt. Microphones here, I have to be careful not to hit. Um, good evening. Judge Goggins, Rabbi David, Reverend Weir, Mayor Ford, Mayor Higgins, former and outgoing elected officials, city officials, our gracious hosts, the staff and volunteers of the Northampton Senior Center, other distinguished guests, and my fellow citizens. Thank you all for being here tonight to take part in this important ceremony, administering the oaths of office to your city government. Elected by you, from among you, and entrusted to serve you, the people of this community. I know I speak for all of my colleagues assembled here when I say what an awesome honor and privilege it is to take the oath of office, a formal and public expression <laughs> of our commitment to leading this great city of Northampton. I personally want to thank Northampton residents for placing your faith and trust in me to serve as your mayor for a second term. Thanks to all who have supported and sustained me to arrive at this place in time, most especially my parents, siblings, my wife Yelena, and our daughters Emma and Zoe. I am particularly humbled by the historic significance of being the first city resident elected to serve a four-year term as mayor under our new city charter. When our city government was established, Northampton's first chief executive, Mayor Benjamin Cook, was elected to a one-year term in 1885. In fact, our first 21 mayors were elected to one-year terms until 1928, when following a charter change, Mayor Jesse Andre took the oath of office for the first two-year mayoral term. We continued that arc of two-year terms for our chief executives for over 80 years, electing our 22nd through our 44th mayors in biennial elections. This changed when the residents of Northampton voted overwhelmingly in 2012 to revise and modernize our charter, separate our executive and legislative branches, and elect mayors to a term of office comparable to our state and federal chief executives. As I look forward to my four years ahead as mayor, I want to reflect on the significant work we have accomplished together as a city since I raised my right hand two Januarys ago. One of the major challenges we faced was our fiscal health, and the core challenge, as outlined in my first budget message, of local revenues and state aid continuously being outpaced by sharp rises in our fixed costs. We have worked diligently to make prudent budgetary decisions to strengthen the city's financial position. 
including tightening internal controls on departmental spending, cell phones, city vehicles, and other city resources, reorganizing and merging departmental functions, collecting and using data in Northampton stat management meetings, selling an unused former school building at market rate to reduce our municipal footprint and fiscal liability, collaborating with our city and school employees to achieve multi-year contracts with all of our 14 unions, implementing historic cost savings for one of our single largest expenses by transferring our health insurance to the state's GIC program, and rebuilding our free cash and stabilization reserve funds and maintaining our strong credit rating. Despite all these efforts, we could not have secured the fiscal stability of this city without the community's strong support last June for overriding Proposition 2.5 as part of a multi-year budget stabilization plan to preserve city services and protect our city schools. That poster-sized financial plan I presented to our community now hangs in my office as a continual reminder of the work this mayor and my financial team and our departments must continue to do every day to both meet and exceed its promise to the taxpayers. I look forward to working with the City Council in the months and years ahead to further strengthen our fiscal state of affairs so that we can continue to provide the vital services, public safety, and quality educational system that this community expects and deserves. We have also made significant progress on refocusing city efforts to promote economic development in support of current and new business growth and an expansion of our tax base. We've done this by reorganizing our economic development mission and staff, revising our zoning, particularly on King Street, to provide more flexibility for commercial uses, tapping the knowledge and advice of our local business community through my Economic Development Advisory Committee, assisting local businesses and actively recruiting new ones to come to Northampton, providing regional leadership on passenger rail and other issues, working with developers and businesses to support new investments and new construction for King Street, Atwood Drive, Conn Street, Village Hill, the former Clark School campus, and other areas around the city, teaming with our legislative delegation to secure $3 million in funding to address significant neighborhood drainage issues in Ward 3 and advance important redevelopment efforts at the three county fairgrounds. Protecting Northampton's economic vitality as a regional destination for arts and entertainment, local restaurants, and independent retailers from the potential negative impacts of a multinational casino just a short drive south from our thriving downtown. Northampton has experienced an unprecedented level of economic activity over the last two years. All told, we've seen 13 new projects in various stages of permitting and construction valued at almost $90 million, including nearly 250,000 square feet of office space, 108 new hotel rooms, and 83 units of mixed income senior housing. When completed, these projects will have expanded our tax base by 3%, generating 1.26 million in additional property tax revenues needed to fund our city and schools. We will continue to work with our local business community, Chamber of Commerce, the Florence Civic and Business Association, the BID, and our state and federal legislative delegation to continue this positive economic momentum for our city. We have also made great stride toward our goal of using technology to expand communication with residents, deliver information and city services more effectively and efficiently, and foster an unparalleled level of government access and transparency. Someone recounted to me a recent online exchange where a, common, a commenter had opined, Narkowitz must be hiding something. <laughs> to which another quickly retorted, hiding something? Are you kidding? The mayor tweets what he has for breakfast every morning. <laughs> now, that is a gross exaggeration. <laughs> Hashtag oatmeal. <laughs> But I will confess to making it a top priority to communicate with residents about my work as mayor 
and about the issues and projects we're working on in city government on their behalf. I've made this kind of communication a top priority for my entire administration, and to that end, we've strived to expand the use of technology, including using Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, NCTV, web alerts, reverse 911, to push information out to residents, implementing Google Apps for government across all city departments, moving data storage and municipal finance systems to the cloud, investing in computers and technology for our schools, and upgrading a student information systems at NPS and Smith Folk. Piloting a mobile app for reporting potholes, broken parking meters, and other quality of life issues. Forming a web and IT advisory committee made up of residents and city staff to assess our website and technology needs. Completely redesigning our website, NorthamptonMA.gov, to make it a modern, easy to access, an extremely functional information and communication portal for residents, businesses, and visitors alike. For those who wonder about the value of technology as an important tool for municipal governance, in just the first two weeks after launching our new website, we had some 12,000 visitors to NorthamptonMA.gov, 45,000 page views, 1,000 information searches, and virtual visits from people in every state in America, save North Dakota and Wyoming. <laughs> we will continue to make technology and communicating with residents a central focus in this new term and continue to push the municipal IT envelope. I'm also proud of the work we've accomplished as a community to forward Northampton's leadership position as a green city on the cutting edge of energy and sustainability. We've done this by adopting new sustainable zoning to encourage more residential and mixed use within walking distance of our urban and village centers, partnering with Columbia Gas, National Grid, and the Center for Ecotechnology to pilot a program helping small businesses and commercial property owners to access energy efficiency audits and incentive funding, installing more traffic calming and sidewalks a second park and ride lot, electric car charging stations, including at our new Lead Gold police station, 0.7 miles of new rail trail, and finalizing construction for our new passenger rail station. We've preserved permanently another 500 acres of open space, including 127 acres of agricultural land. And collaborating with Grow Food Northampton, we opened the Florence Organic Community Garden. We've started construction of what will be our largest recreation complex at Florence Fields and our first riverfront park on the Connecticut River. And partnering with the state, a dedicated team of community volunteers, and 110 homeowners, we've installed 715 kilowatts of clean local power through Solarize Northampton. These are only some of the exciting green projects our community has been able to accomplish together. As the Boston Globe wrote last spring, quote, financial support and a committed local government are of course crucial to towns struggling to be greener, but so is the initiative and creativity of the community. And on all these fronts, Northampton appears to have a winning combination, unquote. While it is important that we acknowledge our hard work and success as a community, there are many more challenges that lie ahead. I want to close by highlighting three issues we will focus on at the start of this new term. Seeking increased state aid and local revenue authority. As I reiterated in this year's budget message, if aid to cities and towns continues to lag and there is no political will to revisit outdated state funding formulas, we must seek more local revenue authority from state government to let us control our own fiscal destiny. I recommit myself to working with the city council, the school committee, and all city elected officials and residents to lobby state government for increased local aid, progressive change to our tax structure, and new local revenue tools we need to properly fund our public schools, our police and fire, and other vital city programs and services. Adding tax reduction options for seniors and veterans. As we talk about budgets and revenues, we must be continuously mindful to ensure that Northampton remains affordable to those of every generation 
and on every rung of the economic ladder, particularly our seniors and veterans. Later this year, I will file legislation with the City Council to create new Northampton programs to allow income eligible seniors and veterans to earn up to a $1,000 abatement of their property taxes in exchange for volunteering in city departments and agencies. Many other Massachusetts communities have created these tax work off programs to the benefit of residents and municipal governments alike. The time has come for Northampton to join them. Funding our critical stormwater infrastructure. I recently spoke to a leadership Pioneer Valley gathering and was asked, what's the next big issue facing Northampton in 2014? My answer surprised them, but it shouldn't surprise you. Stormwater. We face a major dual infrastructure challenge to maintain our massive system of levees, flood walls, and pumps and that, that were constructed in 1940 to protect our community from flooding, as well as to maintain and upgrade our 100-year-old storm drain system. Both of these critical systems face expensive and potentially punitive federal mandates, and the cost of meeting them cannot and should not be absorbed by property taxes and our general fund. I commend the Citizen Stormwater Task Force and Board of Public Works for researching this complex issue, crafting an equitable, fee-based solution for funding a new stormwater utility, and going out and discussing it extensively with residents and business owners around the city. We've had two years of valuable discussion. The time has come for us to act on these critical infrastructure mandates. I call upon the City Council to send the pending stormwater legislation to my desk early in 2014 so I can sign it and my administration can begin implementing it. I have every confidence that working together as a community, we can address this and the many other challenges that lie ahead to keep our great city moving forward. I thank you for being here this evening and thank you for allowing me the honor to serve as your mayor. Congratulations once again to my fellow elected officials. I look forward to working constructively and collaboratively with all of you. And thank you most importantly to the people of this community who elected us to serve them and to serve the city of Northampton. Let's get to work. Thank you.